As we mark one year since COVID-19 hit the Tennessee Valley, we pause to take a moment to reflect. Channel 3's Michelle Heron joins us now live in the studio with your stories from the heart. Michelle. Hey, Cindy, we put an all call out for the community to call us and leave voicemails of their stories about how their lives have changed during the pandemic. We heard from people who lost loved ones, rekindled relationships and some who tried out new hobbies. Photojournalist Lee Broom and I are happy to share your stories from the heart. Each rose petal delicate and soft yet rich in color represents a life and i lost a brother my older brother died in july from COVID. a mother father grandparent daughter son brother or sister she passed away right before christmas of last year in 2020 her name is sheila smith more than 460 people have died from COVID 19 over the last year in hamilton county alone what I miss most is that we talked on FaceTime every week, at least twice a week. My husband and I talked to him. It's been a year since the coronavirus ripped apart our lives, depriving us of hugs and handshakes, emptying our classrooms, restaurants, and workplaces, confining us to our homes. I'm uh, been taking care of my wife for since 2015. She had a brain aneurysm, and it's been a it's been a trip to keep her from catching COVID-19, protecting her, and I'm it. I'm, I'm the only one that takes care of her. I'm her caregiver. I do it all. The isolation, frustration, and worry. I'm an 84-year-old down here Whitfield County. I have not yet been able to get an appointment to get my vaccination shot. Taking a toll on us all. And I am a retired teacher, and I also work as a foster grandparent, but they uh, have not allowed us in classroom here lately. Since we couldn't go to work, I became depressed. But through the unknown, many of us have found light. I guess you could say that during the pandemic, our lives have gone to the dogs. Ways like never before. Four months ago, we volunteered to foster a puppy, and were given a 10-week-old golden retriever and Australian shepherd mix named Tank. He'll be with us for another four or five months, at which time he'll be paired with a vet and they'll be trained together. Others have used this time to rekindle old relationships. With each letter I wrote, I just felt joy and happiness knowing that I was going to give them comfort. And it has made me feel a lot better that I could share with them the walk that we have walked with uh, my daughter. Some have already responded. One person I hadn't heard from in 30 years. So we are happily keeping in contact. Writing to help me cope with my depression. Vaccines have given us a glimmer of hope that some sort of normalcy is on the horizon. And when that day comes, we won't forget the lives lost. I just missed him terribly, so I wanted to share my story with you. His name was Earl. Or those things that helped us get through this time. That guides me, gives me inspiration, and it gives me hope. It makes me feel good. A time in history that will bind us together while keeping us apart. God bless you, and uh, keep wearing your mask. Each story is so unique and so wonderful. We would love to hear more of your stories. You can share them with us on our Facebook page. Reporting live in the studio, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.